Welcome back, class. This is Y Caliber. I'm your guide, Matt, and we are playing the Dragon Age Origins Remastered. We've come to the village of Haven. There's some death root there. Lovely. What can we do in this village? What are you doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here. Okay. No, you do not. I would have been informed if someone was expecting a visitor. Oh, I remember this town now. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. Okay. Did it just get a lot colder, or is it just me? No, it's, it's definitely pretty chilly here. There's an owl over there! Oh my god! Owl, hello! Hi, Hi owl! Come, Bonnie Lynn. Tell us, tell us where you've been. What? Were you up? Were you down? Chasing rabbits around the town. Come, come, Bonnie Hey, come back Lynn. here, child. Tell Who are you? You shouldn't be here. Okay. I asked you first. Lowlanders don't belong here. Okay. What? Why are you looking at me like that? There's something wrong with you. Haven is Haven. But I have a secret. Do you want to see? Um... Maybe? Don't know. It's lucky. I keep it with me. Don't tell anyone, alright? Okay. Uh... Great. Good. I'm glad that happened. Is this the villager's house? We don't want to go into the houses, though. Hello. I've come into your house to steal your things. Don't mind me. Oh, a love letter. That's part of our correspondence interruptus. Oh. 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 Okay. Used for food preparation, perhaps? Um... I'm just trying to be optimistic. The other explanation is slightly more disturbing. You've also got a dog growing out of your hip. Hmm. Well, that's this good. This village is not quite what it seems, is it? Sure seems that way, Battle Grandma. Sure seems that way. All right, back outside then. Let's find the store and never come back here again. Ah. Oh! Ah. Uh, okay. Supplies. Now we go. Okay. Well, we're here now. This is happening. Find a maker. Must gain the advantage. This pulse again. I think something's wrong with these people. I mean, they're not tough or anything, but I feel kind of bad killing them. Here. Well, the guard is gone. Or. No, that's not the guard. The guard is gone. Um, I'm gonna guess it that he begun. was probably involved here. Where's the shop? Is this the shop? There's a lovely pair of rams here. Can't go in there. Death of a Templar. Interesting. Great. That's exactly the kind of upbeat literature we want in this creepy village. Um, so... I'm guessing the shop is out of the question at this point. More elf root there, that's always nice. I was kind of hoping that there would be a shop here, but it so, seems... with the... Boss, I... Pardon? You and the boss, <laughs> rolling your oats. Ogryn! I don't know... Polishing the footstones. What? The, what? What you're... 
Tap in the midnight still, if you will. That would at least make sense. What are you going on about? Forging the moaning statue. <laughs> Bucking the forbidden horse, donning the velvet hat. This is getting not safe for work, Ogren. Are you just making these up right now? Nope. Hey, been saving them. That's horrible. Right, so there's no shop here. I was hoping there was, because we're carrying a bunch of stuff, but, uh, but there isn't. There isn't. Just chickens, and goats, and rams, and crazy cultists trying to kill us. Oh, good a mage. It shall be done. Kill mage! Nice work. Hmm, a reaver. That's one of the specializations. I don't think these guys are as tough as they might think they are. Oh, is there an archer also? There we go. Well, we don't want to miss out on this elf root. And stay down. Yes, stay down indeed. Journeyman Paralyzed Rune. That could have been useful, I suppose. But this place is terrible. It's just terrible. Oh good, another deep mushroom. And a book. What's this got to tell us? On the Avar people. Well, we know they like birds. Okay. We have our tribes. Did I not pick up what this mage has? I guess I did not. Thank you. And the village shop. Is there a shopkeeper in here? There is no shopkeeper in here. I wonder if you just come directly up here first. Oh, I better know who will like those. I wonder if you just come directly up here first, if the shopkeeper exists. Okay, well there are dead bodies back here. That's... that's good, I guess. It is begun. He was from Redcliffe. Oh dear. I shall do it. So he was one of the ones searching for uh, the Urn of Sacred Ashes, which is rumored to be in this area. So, um... Yeah, that guy died. That's a shame. I guess we're just going to have to continue on. What's over here then? I wonder if we, we will be able to find Brother Genitibi. He's somewhere... somewhere around. I mean, we're in his... Some I shall do it. A pair of nose plugs? Go out, find a girl. <laughs> Doesn't matter who. As long as there's no pants involved. What makes you think... I haven't. I can smell purity a mile away. <laughs> it's a talent. That proves to be useful, I'm sure. Not that often, it turns out. <laughs> be much better if I could smell cheese. You have my deepest condolences. Yep, so do you. Kill mage. And then it no longer matters what happens. I guess they are a little far. But come on, your bow is called Far Song. There we go. And I'll take that. Sounds like someone's dialed a giant telephone outside and they're not getting any service. It's probably just the construction across the street that's been going non-stop. Oh, that was a lady mage. You hear that? There's people in the Chantry. The whole town, maybe. Is everyone in the Chantry? These villagers are a remarkably pious bunch. Um, they are remarkably in tune. <laughs> I mean, you, you did notice what was going on, right? You noticed that? That we're being constantly attacked by crazy cultists and villagers? We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the holy and beloved to be her guardians. Okay. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not. 
for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her hi ah welcome I heard we had a visitor wandering about the village I trust you've enjoyed your time in Haven so far that's one way of putting it this my brothers is what happens when you let an outsider into the village they have no respect for our privacy well, she will I tell mean... others of us if we let her word will spread and then what you stranger do not understand our ways you would bring war to haven in your ignorance robes are pretty cool we don't owe you any explanations for our actions we have a sacred duty failure to protect her would be a greater sin all will be forgiven well that's one way of looking at things Oh, well, that sucks. They all resisted that. Yes, let's kill him from here. The most impractical way imaginable. Someone over there? Is that... Oh, okay, it's just an archer. Just an archer. Hey, come back here. You got electrified. Electrified. Don't you take me to electrified. Don't you take me to. Those guys are all dead. Thanks, Win. A little late on that one, but uh, you know, better late than never. And what have you got here? Cultist Enchanter Staff. That's a good looking staff. It's a good-looking staff. That might even be better than Final Reason for uh, our friend here. Morgan is the word I was looking for. Okay, well, um, here we are. There's a hidden doorway there. That's good. That archer is dead as well. Cultist Longbow. That's actually quite nice. And cultist leather armor drake skin. If it gave me a boost my dexterity and constitution like this dwarven stuff would, it would be pretty nice. But it doesn't. Though it does reduce my fatigue considerably. But without the dexterity and constitution defense and armor boosts. Just not worth it. That's the kind of thing maybe I could give to uh, Zevran. Not too shabby. Ring of Faith, not too shabby. Small silver bar. We know who that's for. A couple of locked chests. Large flawed lightning crystal. That's not something that we will ever need again. Alright. Brick wall. Hello, Brother Genitibi. There you are. Just hanging out, I guess. We'll get there, though. want to crack this stuff open first. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Heavy dragon bone gloves of the cultist. Heavy dragon bone boots of the cultist. Heavy dragon bone armor of the cultist. Cultist metal shield. Cultist longsword. Wow, there's a lot of cultist stuff here. Wonder if we could give it to uh, Alistair, who's still wearing some fairly old-fashioned stuff. There you are. How does this look for you? You're not wearing a helmet at all. Okay. Well then. Cultist heavy gloves. That's definitely better than what you're currently wearing. Heavy boots. Um, that plus 50 stamina is pretty good, but we'll have to go with this for now. Health regeneration. Nice. Okay. Well, I mean, that's a, that's a new look for Alistair. I wouldn't normally uh, call him a, a cultist, but... We do what we have to do. And this requires more strength than you have. So we can't, uh, we can't give you that, sorry. I mean, this still might be... So that's plus two, plus three, so that's plus five. 
So that's 15.71. This is 17. No chance to slow or no boost to spell resistance, but it does give you a boost to attack that that one does not have, as well as critical and fire resistance. So let's give you that axe for now and see how that uh, how that deals with you. I mean, Ageless is a nice sword. Oh, that's a great sword. We don't need that. Styrian's Might is a nice sword, but uh, the one you've got is better right now. That's actually not bad either, 15.2. But Aod is still the better choice. Right. We got a lot of stuff here. Ring of Faith, Iron Rings. We don't need these Iron Rings. We don't need it taking taking up space in our inventory. There's no shop up here. Yeah, I think we're good. I'll give you the, wick, the Wicked Oath there. Oh, do you get a bonus for this armor set? You do, theoretically, but we don't know what it is. Does this tell us? No, it doesn't. But whatever. How do you look in that, Alistair? Interesting, I would say, is the look here. Who are you? Hey. They've sent you to finish it. Well, aren't you, uh, optimistic? You don't know how glad I am to see someone who isn't from this village. I... Oh, the leg's not doing so well, and I can't feel my foot. Oh? I can set the leg and ease some of the pain, but he'll need a lot of rest in order to heal. I don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. Really? My research led me to Haven, and I have heard the villagers talking. I know the urn is here. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked, but I know what the key is. Irik wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. Okay. Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside, and I will show you. Okay. All right. What is on your mind? <sighs> yes, of course. How could I forget? Irik said they were ambushed. Some killed, a few brought back to Haven to be questioned. He was so self-righteous about it, so smug. He seemed pleased that he had tortured and murdered these men. Psycho. Good. Irik and his fellows were a blemish in the Maker's sight. If the Maker would even deign to look upon this world, that is. Ooh. Let's just talk about something else now, shall we? <laughs> well, it wasn't exactly what I expected it to be. Yeah. Pure luck. I wasn't even looking for any village. I had always assumed that the temple that housed the urn would be lost to time and abandoned. Well it took done. years of study to narrow down its location to this range of mountains. Then, completely by accident, I came across an unrelated document that mentioned a village called Haven. Hmm. It was a hundred-year-old log of the Denerum Chantry's business transactions. Interesting. In it was an account of a dwarven trader who had failed to transport goods from Orzoma that had already been paid for. There was a blizzard, and his caravan was turned off the path. They eventually came across a small human village that was not on any map. The trader tried to gain entry to take shelter from the storm. Unfortunately, they were turned away and had to take refuge in a cave. When he woke up that next morning, everyone and everything was gone. Wow. He managed to find the road again and, and made it to Denerim, but he never saw the caravan again. That's crazy. Not too much. It became clear from the dwarf story that this village would be near the temple. Why? And it occurred to me that they might know something about the urn, and I decided to find the village myself. And 
that's how this trouble started. Mm. They seemed intent on finding out personal information about me, where I grew up, things like that. Ah, doppelgangers. How do you know? An imposter? What happened to the real Waylon? He was under a rag in the back room. Oh, poor Waylon. I should never have dragged you into this. Make us take you into his hands, my boy. He believed in me, even when I lost faith in myself. I will honor his memory. Was there... was there uh, something else you wanted to say? Ah, oh, good. Help me up here. Uh, uh, I'll try not to slow us down. But you will slow us down. I mean, it's inevitable. It's okay, though. I forgive you. Preemptively, I forgive you. It's not that big a deal, really. At the end of the day, all things considered. And so on and so forth. I mean, the amount of time it's taking to load this area is probably as long as it would take us to walk up there with you and your crippled foot anyway. So, you know, I, it's a non-issue. You need to get your... There you go. Oh. Here we are. Give me the medallion, and let's see if I remember. Yes. You see, it, it can be manipulated, just like this. Kickety and crack. there, a key to open the way. Thanks. Now, where does this go? Well, someone's been tending the fires. Don't die, Jenna TV. Oh. Give to have seen this hall in all its splendor, as it was meant to be. Still, sweep away the ice and the snow, and traces of beauty remain. Hmm. I'm sorry, what? Uh, I was a little distracted, I apologize. These carvings were created just after Andraste's death, and they may reveal things about her life that we do not yet know. Well, have I fun. Think I need more time to study these statues and carvings. I could not keep up with you with my injuries. I should be safe. I don't think there are any villagers here. Let's hope Go. not. I will be all right. Perhaps my destiny was only to lead you to the Anne. Okay. It was designed to protect the Anne from those who would steal it or do harm to it. Namely, the Taventer Imperium. Right, those guys. I would hope not. And if the legends speak truly, you will never reach the urn with malice in your heart. Sorry, Only Ogren. the faithful shall lay eyes on the sacred ashes. Death and misfortune await the unbeliever. Oh. The Maker's gaze has fallen on Andraste's final resting place. He weeps for his beloved, and his wrath at her betrayers endures. Okay. Read between the lines, however, and you'll understand that it is merely a simple truth draped in hyperbole and metaphor. That is After correct. All, no one wants to hear, Willie toiled for many a year to perfect the curious mechanisms that would send a sharpened spike up the arse of the unwary intruder. I would like that. I think my decision to stay here was the best one, don't you? I concur. I'll be right here if you need me. Hmm. Now I need something to write on. Well, there's plenty of human skin around, I'm sure, back down in the village. Right, so... Oops. There's a book over there. And a big ominous fire. And I see here the end of the episode. So until the next time, all the best.